what's up, V Squad? Welcome back to my channel. So, you guys, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a few things, okay? Some girly things, some things that I feel like need to be discussed. And I wanted you guys' opinions and comments and feedback in today's video as well. I will be showing you guys how I achieve this look with my curls. You guys always ask me, like, what products I use and things like that. So, I'm going to mention some of them in the video. First, I did want to show you guys how I revamp my hair. After a couple times of me wearing my hair, curling my hair, putting products in my hair, it gets really nasty, okay it gets really gunky and nasty and greasy looking and yeah crazy so i want to you know keep applying my wig and making sure it looks nice and healthy i'm gonna show you guys what i do the products that i use as well before we get too deep into the video if you're new here hello my name is victoria make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you become a part of my v squad because i would love to have you so here's my wig you guys it looks a mess okay product buildup frizzy there's stuff all in the lace and the baby hairs everything so today's video i will be using the brand marie they were kind enough to send me over their professional hair care products that has natural ingredients in it and doesn't have all those harsh ingredients that you can find in drugstore brands i wanted to show you guys how everything came packaged they sent me over their mineral shampoo their mineral conditioner, their growth spray, and their hair mask as well. So the good thing about Mari products, you guys, it has 77 minerals, 5 vitamins, 18 amino acids. This is really good for hair care. Here is just some of the things that it has. Cruelty-free, fragrance-free, silicone-free, all the good stuff that your hair loves and adores and needs to grow and thrive, okay? Mari products restores damaged hair follicles by deep cleaning away harmful toxins such as silicones and parabens. It removes excess oils and then it infuses your hair with folic acid, okay? So it's gonna help restore those split ends and get that back healthy. It improves your scalp condition as well by cleansing your scalp from like harmful toxins. Um, it also helps with blood circulation as well and it boosts your natural keratin production. So that's really, really cool. As you can see, I'm just showing you how it feels or what it looks like in the hand. It's not a like super thin consistency. It's kind of like a thicker consistency. So that's what I really loved about it. I also feel like I can use this on my natural hair as well. It also enriches your hair with minerals and vitamins such as biotin, omega-3 fatty acids, iron, zinc, folic acid. Um, folic acid is really good for your hair because that's basically how everything kind of goes in and out of your cells. So all the products that I received today will help with um, hair growth, strengthening your hair, helps with split ends, frizzy hair, which clearly I had a problem with. It adds extra shine, value, and length, and it boosts your vital nutrients that your hair needs to grow. Um, of course, this is not my hair, this is a wig, but as you will see in the next couple clips, when I show you guys my hair after the fact, you can tell how healthy and shiny and just beautiful the hair looks. I cannot wait to use these products on my natural hair because I know that it's going to do some good for my hair. Um, so yeah, in this clip, I just put in the hair mask and the conditioner, and as you can see, the hair looks bomb. So I have laid my hair down and I'm just going to show you guys how pretty and healthy this hair looks. This hair looks so freaking healthy. Like look at that. It's nice and shiny. It has body. It looks really, really good compared to how it looks when I first washed it. You guys know that I use the brand Mari to, you know, revamp my hair. I can definitely tell that these products are really, really good. Um, just by the way my hair looks, it looks really healthy. I will be using this on my natural hair and maybe I'll give you guys like a little update, you know what I'm saying, once I do use it. Honestly, I wanted to use it on this hair first just to see, you know, how I felt about it. How I liked it. What I love about these products, of course, they're high-end, okay? They're high-end products. They're going to give you high-end results. But I love the fact that they're natural. Like, it doesn't have all them chemicals and, like, nasty stuff that the hair does not like. Like, it's paraben-free and all that that I mentioned before. So, I really can appreciate that. 
definitely gonna be using this on my wigs and on my natural hair so basically in this video and you guys have probably seen by the title i wanted to talk about a few things with you guys while i style my hair on camera and to curl my hair today i will be using the devol curling wand this one is in a 32 mm they did send me this over and i really needed a new curling wand like so bad so here's what it looks like it came in this box here i've already used it once so yeah i tried to repackage it for you guys it came with a glove and then some instructions as well for the wands if you're interested in this curling wand i will leave it down below along with some information about the wand here is what it looks like up close if you guys are wondering just has an on and off button but basically what inspired this talk you guys was i was telling my girlfriend about a situation that happened like an old situation back in the past um that this guy had asked me if he can come over my house at like one o'clock in the morning and i i mean i didn't know know him i had just met him but he was just like, you know, can I come over and chat or whatever? I was telling her how, you know, it kind of turned me off. Like, literally. Like, I was just like, yeah, that's just like a major turn off for me. I think that is so, mm. I'm waiting on my freaking curling iron to like heat up so we can start. But after I had told her that or whatever, she was like, you know, maybe you shouldn't have judged him. Maybe he did just want to come over and chat with you, like, for real. Maybe that's really what he wanted to do. She was like, you know, not all guys are the same, okay? Pretty much. So here is my argument, okay? <laughs> so I've dated, like, in the past or whatever. Like, I've dated. I have experienced dating. I know pretty much the basic stuff. I feel like I have experience when it comes to certain things and when men say certain things. So I kind of know, like, what to expect and not to expect, okay? Well, she said that I should probably have asked him what he was trying to do instead of assuming he was trying to come over in f you know what i'm saying because basically in my head that's what i think if a man is trying to come see you late late at night it means that he trying to get some period lessons in life experiences with dating and things like that has taught me um that you know what i'm saying it's not like i just made it up in my head like no usually when a man is trying to do that that's what they're trying to achieve and that's just what it is ladies let me put y'all up on game about something okay i feel like a lot of us lack discernment a lot of us lack common sense okay sometimes a lot of us are too naive and i definitely feel like we have to start taking responsibility as women when we agree to stuff or whatever decision we make i feel like we need to start being more responsible as women and not necessarily blaming the man for everything so i feel like in these type of situations a woman can definitely put herself in something she don't want to be in and then try to blame the man like oh um he's this way he's that way but you allowed the situation and you allowed yourself to be involved in the situation so you can't really blame him you know what I mean? My friend also stated that she likes to see the good in people, which I'm all for that. But I feel like at some point you have to use common sense and realize that you're allowing things that, okay, this isn't okay. Even though I don't know him as good as I would like to. I feel like you could still not judge somebody, but then know how people act when they're trying to achieve certain things. I don't know the word for it, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, try to see the good in people, but also don't be naive. You know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of women get played in situations, just because they're not using their common sense. Let me tell you guys something. Like I said before, if a man's trying to come over late, late at night, and he just met you, honey, that automatically means, like, you should know that he's trying to do something with you. In my head, when you first meet somebody, it shouldn't be, let me come over and see you late at night. It should be like, let me take you to dinner, or let's go to lunch, or you know what I'm saying? Like if he automatically goes to, let me come over, or you come over so we can like Netflix and chill, he's already put you in a category of, he just wanna F, okay? He just wanna get some. And he's honestly not being serious with you. Like he don't see nothing serious coming from it. I do understand that certain circumstances do change, but for the most part, you guys, that's usually what it is. You guys know that saying, believe half of what you hear and all of what you see, okay? Honestly, ladies, do not feel bad for appearing judgmental. I feel like that's really gonna save you from a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. When you first meet somebody, you want to pay attention to what they do, what they say, 
um, you want to pay attention to the red flags. That way you're not going to be staying in a situation that you don't need to be in for too long. Because I notice a lot of women do that as well. Um, staying in something that they know they shouldn't be in. And it's just like years and years and years pass and you stuck, you got kids and all that. When things like this come up, it's important that you take note of that. Um, leave the situation if you feel like you need to leave it or whatever you feel like you need to do I feel like in the beginning stages pay attention pay attention to You know how this person acts how they treat you all of that because that's going to determine the rest of you guys' Relationship and also determine what type of person the man is like his character and all that you do need to kind of sit back and you know ask the right questions i wouldn't say talk too much because i feel like a lot of women talk too much and i'm gonna let you guys know something else i don't know why i don't know i feel like some of this stuff is like common sense but a lot of men will say what they want or what they think you want to hear so they can get what they want if a man asks you well what type of guy are you looking for ladies like that is a dead giveaway if you tell a man what you know you're looking for he's just going to mimic that and become what you want so he can get what he wants what you do is you sit back and you see what type of person he is and yeah you can communicate little things or whatever but it's important that you just let him be his true self so you know who he is and see if you guys can mesh and come together and do whatever and before anybody say anything in them comments because i know a lot of people like to take what i say and twist it I'm not upset at a man wanting me or anything like that or any woman shouldn't be mad at a man wanting her because that's just like human nature. But I do think that it's important um, when you first meet a man, how he decides to court you. To me, that says a lot about a guy's character off rip. So if a guy is automatically like, come over, let's Netflix and chill, then you kind of know what he on, you know what I'm saying? And that way, if you know that like off rip, then you won't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a lot of us women are just too nice. And that's how we get ourselves in these situations that we should not be in or don't want to be in. So it's important to use common sense, have discernment, okay? Have discernment. Not saying that you should go in a situation thinking he's automatically a bad person. But if he does something that is like, okay, that's no, then chances are he's going to remain that way and that's just how he is and you can then at that point judge who he is okay and if you want to deal with him simple as that i cannot wait to hear you guys' comments on this but another thing you guys is do not think that a man is not paying attention to how you react to things when he says certain things honestly if you go along with the nonsense he's going to continue to bring you nonsense because he thinks that hey it's okay she's okay with it she don't mind so i'm, I'm gonna keep going so whatever you allow in the beginning is basically how it's going to continue so if he does want to come over at one o'clock in the morning he's going to be like well she allowed me to do it one time i could do it again that's just how it goes and that's just what it is okay i hate to break it to you guys some of you women i feel like that's where the responsibility comes into play because I don't know i just feel like a lot of women just like well he 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 this 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 and granted some men do you know will, you know dog a woman out but at some point as a woman you have to you know what i'm saying kind of not fend for yourself but you got to know right from wrong period and if somebody come at you a certain way you like okay mm, i don't like that i probably shouldn't be talking to him because he on this and that's it and you keep it moving like what are you guys opinions um, do you think that's too harsh? I think that it's important for us women to have these type of discussions. Um, there's no judgment here. If you've been through things, you can always put it in the comments. I'm not judgmental, but I will tell you, like, if you ask for my advice, I will, you know, give you real advice. Like, I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing. And I've been through things too. That's how I learned in life. That's how I was able to distinguish between BS and good things you know what i'm saying it took a while it took for me to go through some things okay that's how i know some things
here is the finished look you guys this is what my hair turned out like the curls um did fall a little bit but i wanted them to be a little like looser this side is a little bigger because I kind of went ham when I was curling it. Wasn't supposed to do that, but it is what it is. The hair looks really healthy, shiny, and smooth. Yes. You guys, make sure you go check out Marie. I will leave all the information down below. Using their products, I was able to get my hair back healthy looking and not like ugly and how it was looking like, like a bird's nest. It was looking crazy. Yeah, I was able to use these products to get this look. I have all their information listed down below along with a coupon code for you guys as well. I will talk to you guys in the comments. So until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.